What's that noise? Oh, it's the it's the neighbor's air conditioning unit. It's a great noise. I, I love it. But I'm, I'm not actually here today to talk about my air conditioning next door. I'm actually here to talk to you about the buy two get one free sale that just recently happened in my area and some Blu-rays I got to show you. So let's just go into, oh, well, hey, it stopped. Well, that's nice. Oh, but anyway, you're not really here for that. So we're actually going to be talking about the amount of Blu-rays that I got recently in this buy two get one free sale that I had at my local entertain mart this here in Springfield, Missouri. I had a lot of good pickups and uh, some of them are pretty good and I've had been on my list for a while and they're okay. And some of them are really great and I have yet to see them. And so yeah, here we go. Uh, let's just start off with some of my uh, first picks, some things that I've already seen before. First one is Shutter Island. I've actually seen this movie years ago. Um, I was actually not as impressed as everyone else. Martin Scorsese does this with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a really cool mystery uh, kind of isle on this on this uh, island. Uh, what I can I think Alcatraz is it on Alcatraz? This island is kind of like Alcatraz, Shutter Island, I, I suppose. It's a lot of weird, crazy, spiritual kind of haunting things happen. There's a really weird mystery. It's a pretty fun movie. Um, not super great, but it's fun. And so that, I picked up Shutter Island. All right, next is uh, a Ryan Reynolds film called Buried which I actually have not seen, and uh, I've been wanting to see it for, for a long time. I like movies that are kind of shot in one location. I know he probably has some flashbacks. He gets buried alive. I think he is a soldier, in, either in Afghanistan or Iraq. He's a soldier, I think, and uh, don't quote me on this, by the way. Um, but he is buried alive, and it's pretty much him just getting out of that. So I don't really know much about it, but I'm looking forward to it. I've actually, a lot of people have told me it's actually pretty good, so... Looking forward to that. So let's move uh, actually to 1963 with The Great Escape. So The Great Escape is Steve McQueen. This is actually one of his greatest films. I have yet to see this movie and I really look forward to seeing this. Um, it's a prison escape movie and uh, I like most of the things I've seen with Steve McQueen. Then again, I've only seen a few things. I still have yet to see Papi uh, Papillon, but I, I'm really looking forward to uh, the rest of this. So um, The Great Escape is going to be a great movie and The Great Escape for me from the reality of the real world. That's a little joke there for you. All right, so we're going to move from 1960s to back to 1998. We're going to go a little bit more modern with Something About Mary. I haven't seen this movie in a long time, and uh, but yeah, that iconic scene with Ben Stiller getting his, uh, you know, what, stuck in the zipper is hilarious. His balls, by the way. Um, yeah, but this is a hilarious film with Cameron Diaz, Matt Dillon, and Ben Stiller. So I, I, I like this movie. It's a fun time. Not a great one, but it's fun. So there's that. All right, so let's move on to another film from not too long ago. Midnight in Paris is Woody Allen. It's got an, uh, kind of an all-star cast here. We got uh, Kathy Bates. We got Adrian Brody, Carla Bruni. We have uh, Marion Cotard. We have uh, Michael Sheen. We have Owen Wilson as well. And we also have, is that Rachel McAdams? Yeah, so there's a lot of people in this movie. I've heard a lot of great things about this. It's not the great cover. I know there's another alternative cover with kind of like a Starry Night kind of looking thing in here, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie. I'm not the biggest fan of Woody Allen. Then again, I haven't seen much with Woody Allen. So uh, I'll check out The Midnight in Paris. I've heard good things and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so let's move on from there to uh, a movie called Heathers. This is actually a movie that's actually just recently been on my on my radar because I watched Thoroughbreds and I've been so, seeing so many things thing saying that Heathers is like or Thoroughbreds is like Heathers, and so that's something that I wanted to check out. Is Black Comedy, I guess, a coming-of-age movie with Winona Ryder, and we have Christian Slater uh, as a young man. And so I'm really looking forward to this movie, and uh, it's it's caught in its nostalgia, and that's something that I'm looking forward to. So there's that. The next movie I got was an A24 movie with Oscar Isaac called The Most Violent Year. It's got Oscar Isaac, and it also has Jessica Chastain as his wife. It's a gangster film. From what I've gathered, I haven't really looked into it as much, but uh, an 80s New York City, the corruption, uh, kind of just a crime drama, so I'm really looking forward to it. That's all I really know about it, and so, beautiful cover. I actually came with a slipcase. I'm happy about that. Next on my list, we're going to go over from America to Germany to this foreign film called The White Ribbon. The reason I got this movie is because I was uh, actually, in the sale, I bought nine films, and I accidentally already had one on accident, and that's the first time I've actually doubled. And so I went back and I went looked around and I like I typed in Sony Pictures Classics, and this movie popped up. I looked for it and I found it. And so this German film, Black and White, came out in 2009, I want to say, and this is uh, the best film of that year, uh, foreign language film. And I'm really looking forward to this movie because it's I guess um, 
on the eve of World War One, so previously to World War One, in this small German town, this Protestant village, some kids uh, are disappearing and some weird things are going on in the town, so I'm really looking forward to that. I like having a lot of mystery behind me going into a film, not really knowing much. So White Ribbon, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to watch it. Next, we're going to go to the 60s again, to 1969. We're going to The Wild Bunch. Yeah, I don't really know much about this. In fact, I'm still new to my, my Western um, genre, and I'm going to keep watching uh, a lot of these classics, and we're actually going to talk about some Westerns here in a second. Because besides just this one, um, I actually have a few other Westerns here in this pile. But this was all the stuff I got at the buy to get one free sale, the nine. And then I got four more movies that recently came um, in the mail from Amazon. The first one being, let's just go back to the Westerns. I'll talk about the first one being Shane. So this movie, um, I, I this was on my radar because of Logan, honestly. And Logan came out last year. And it had this movie in the background. It also has apparently a lot of characteristics of that movie. And so I really wanted to check out Shane and uh, really just catch up on some of the things that I've missed out in the past. Next is a classic that I've been told by a lot of people to watch. And I've actually seen several scenes from this movie and I really liked it. And that is The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance with Jimmy Stewart. And we got, of course, John Wayne. And that's a really interesting pair. I've never seen the two together. So it never crossed my mind that they were... They were in the same kind of um, area and space and time, so it's weird that that happened. And so I'm really looking forward to this. This is a, a great, great film that I can't wait to watch the rest of. I've seen a lot of really pivotal scenes in this movie, though. So I really like that. All right, so let's move on to uh, maybe a little bit earlier film, 1944. I got this because it was on sale. This is Hitch Alfred Hitchcock's Lifeboat. This is based on a John Steinbeck, uh, John Steinbeck novel, and I really don't know much about it besides the fact that Hitchcock did it, and I'm in the middle of watching all of Hitchcock's films, because I'm prepping up for my 1930s um, kind of genre series coming up, uh, and my 100 Years of Movies, and there's a lot of things on that list that could potentially make that. Uh, and then when I get to the 40s, I'm sure Lifeboat might make it too. We'll see. So I'm looking at that. And the last thing i got to show you is actually one of Taika Waititi's films and that is boy uh this is an australian film i said australian it's new zealand god man the people that fly to the concords they just freaking kill me but i'm really looking forward to boy i love taika watiti i love what we do in the shadows thor ragnarok was great and i also really like taunt for the wither people so i want to see this movie i also want to see uh his other film eagle versus shark and a couple of other things that he's done, but I'm really looking forward to this. Taiko TT never does anything not funny to me. Those are my pickups from my buy two, get one free sale, and a couple things from Amazon. But I'm in the middle right now of actually watching all the movies from 1929 to 1939. So I'm really looking forward to checking out this, but I actually have a long list of things on my queue to watch, and I have a couple of new movies coming out in April that I also want to review, so We'll see where I get from there. But uh, thank you for checking out this video. It may be a little bit longer than I, I wanted it to be. But I'm really happy about all the pickups that I got and really excited to see a lot of them. And then revisiting some of the other ones as well. But I want to hear your thoughts on down below on my pickups. Did you like what I picked up? Is there anything I should be picking up that you know that I don't have or anything like that? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to also comment, share this video, and also subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm not Jonathan Ray.